G'day and welcome to another video with BetterPix. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're just doing a quick follow-up video to our adaptive black and white color profile, the new color profiles that are available within Adobe Camera Raw. And the reason I'm doing an update is I had a fantastic question around whether or not the adaptive black and white, when applied, if it's set to zero, is it the same as Adobe uh, monochrome. Excellent question because you can see between those two they are very very different uh, straight out of the bat. Now keeping in mind that there's no other edits that have been made to this image or the other images that we're going to be demonstrating. Uh, also just wanted to mention that we have the same four images that we worked on last time. Uh, so let's have a look at Adobe monochrome which as I mentioned in the last video really is just a direct uh, translation or transfer from color to black and white. Whereas the adaptive black and white, whereas the adaptive black and white has just some changes to tonal values, kind of like a starting point for the edits within your image, and it really is just determined by what uh, the algorithms and the tools in the background um, have determined the best way to f go forward with this image. All right, so adaptive black and white, you can see that we have the sliding scale there, which I did neglect to mention in the last video. My apologies, where you can increase the amount that that black and white profile is the adaptive profile is being applied to the image now it defaults at 100 can go up to 200 and it can go to zero all right so let's go back to 100 again let's look at the difference with adobe monochrome very very different uh, outcome adaptive black and white we're going to go to zero and see if that looks like adobe monochrome all right let's go to zero looks similar but let's go Adobe Monochrome, different. Okay, so it's closer to what Adobe Monochrome is, but it is still applying some changes to the image in terms of tonal value. All right, let's have a look at the next one. So for this image, we're gonna go straight to Adobe Monochrome. Again, it's just a black and white uh, change of the image. There's no real tonal value changes. Adaptive black and white takes a little bit of time. You can see that it's made some tonal changes to the image. I'm going to drop that to zero in adaptive black and white. This is the AI driven version. And then we're going to go back to Adobe Monochrome. Again, very different. So, well not very different, but there are differences in there. So with the adaptive black and white, changing it to zero does not equal Adobe Monochrome. All right. Let's go to the third image, adaptive black and white, place that on zero. You can see it's quite flat. You can see when I, I change that, it really has squashed the tones in a lot of ways. And let's go to Adobe Monochrome and you can see that that contrast goes back in there. So adaptive black and white and Adobe Monochrome, or adaptive black and white at zero and Adobe Monochrome are once again very different. All right, adaptive black and white on the last one. Let's reduce that slider to zero. That looks pretty good. I'd be pretty happy with that straight out of the gate. Interesting that I've reduced it to zero to achieve that. Uh, personally, I think it's because it's closer to just a black and white conversion of the color image. And let's go to Adobe Monochrome. And again, a bit more contrast, darker tones, and more of a direct transfer of the image from color to black and white. All right, so there you have it. So if we're looking at adaptive black and white at zero, versus Adobe Monochrome, they're still different. So even at zero, the adaptive black and white is making some changes to the tonal values in the image. So that's a really important thing to consider. And also consider with adaptive black and white, you do have that slider where you can apply more or less of that color profile or that transfer or adaptive black and white profile to the image. Okay, well that's been great to look at and thanks again for the question in the comments. Prompting this video, very much appreciate it. Thanks very much for stopping by. Hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.